Non-Technical Lives in Philippines How Did Island People Survive Without Technology? Can you live without technology? You probably agree that digitalization and technology are transforming the world and have become vital to modern society. But places in the world still haven't embraced technology just like the Philippines. Well, it's not that people do not want to try the technology and it's just that some are less privileged to have it. Like the non-technical lives in the Philippines, it may not be bad because, at least, people still know and learn the basics of living. However, technology plays an important role in shaping the country's social, economic, and political landscapes. But how do you think people living non-technical lives in the Philippines live? That's what you're going to learn here, so without further ado, let's get started. Living Without Technology Imagine yourself living and waking up one day without technology, when all computers on the planet have disappeared. First, you'll wake up late because you don't have a smartphone for your alarm. And once the initial shock of the situation wears off, you'd probably start getting ready for your work. Unfortunately, you will not be able to turn on the lights, use a shower, brush your teeth, or even ride public transportation. And you know what's interesting? There are still people that are up for non-technical lives like these in the Philippines. To some, a day without technology is never a good start, and many could not stand several hours of walking, especially when technologies get missing in everyday life. But to some, like individuals living non-technical lives in the Philippines, it turns out amazingly well. Surprising Ways on How People Survive Living Without Technology in the Philippines Indeed, technology has fully ingrained in our busy lives. Communications are easier, as there are already social media platforms, texts, and emails to keep up with friends and loved ones. But usually, little screen time is what we never thought of needing to reconnect to the world around us. Do you think it sounds daunting? Well, it isn't as bad as you think it may be, as there are people who can still survive and live without it. Here are 10 ways people could survive without technology in the islands of the Philippines. Number 1. Immerse themselves in work People living without technology in the Philippines are usually busy with their work, not working in the office, but rather more on agriculture and livelihood. Many of them work in farming and fishing, keeping themselves busy. According to them, making a living through agriculture is a way for them to survive. If they could eat three times a day, they'd be good with it. Food is their priority, not smartphones, cameras, and computers. Number 2. Make use of power tools If there's already an electronic device, non-technical lives in the Philippines have this kind of electronic device to be more productive. Many people focus more on carpentry and construction, and they don't use any machines, or if they use them, they would probably be more on the basics. They would even teach others how to use the tools. Number 3. Learning the language In the Philippines, there are a lot of native languages that even locals are not so familiar with. Since some islands in the Philippines don't use much technology, People out there practice their conversational language skills with other locals. But why are they doing this? It's because other people can't speak their word. It's also their one way to survive because if there's any chance they get visitors or encounter people, they can understand and communicate well. Number 4. Acquaint with Neighbors Getting to know the people around you is paramount. Islands in the Philippines must be away from the city. And the people you usually see when living on an island are the ones you will likely encounter every day. So, living in a community where you know most people is always best. There must be unity in times of trouble. You can get help when you know anyone. Number 5. Get Crafty Whether they try to learn to make pottery, try livestock, wood carving, weaving, and more, People from the islands of the Philippines learn a lot of skills without getting into seminars or YouTube tutorials. 
they're not equipped to use technology, and they just do and learn things on their own. No wonder islands in the Philippines are famous, not only all over the country, but also worldwide. Locals, especially tourists, value their crafts. Their valuable ornate carvings are a specialty from the southern Philippine islands. Number 6. They Cook and Cook In our world today, where YouTube recipe videos are a trend rather than recipe books when cooking, did you know that non-technical lives in the Philippines get to learn how to cook their traditional dishes on their own? They may learn new recipes from their neighbors or families and prepare them for visitors. Since livestock and agriculture is their way of living, the most popular dish must be the roasted pig or lechon, which every Filipino has during celebrations. Filipinos have famous cooking methods that support the Filipino Cookery Foundation. These are grilling or inihaw, boiling or nilaga, steaming, and roasting or halabos. These are the cooking methods of most people on the islands of the Philippines from the basis of modern day demand for healthy cooking. Number 7. Educating Themselves Even though they're not fortunate enough to experience such technologies, non-technical lives in the Philippines prefer to educate themselves by attending schools and making use of the books provided by the government. That way, when things go their way and they are given a chance to experience technology, it would be much easier for them to adapt. Frequently Asked Questions Got questions in mind? Here are some of the questions most people ask. Number 1. How does technology affect the Philippines? Because of the government support, the digital sector in the Philippines is a big help to the economy. In fact, in 2020, the estimated internet economy in the Philippines was about $7.5 billion. It is also expected to increase annually by 30%. Number 2. What is the big impact of technology to the life of Filipinos? The adoption of digital technology could help the country overcome the impact of the pandemic. It also helps the country recover from crisis and achieve the vision of becoming one of the middle-class societies and free of poverty. Number 3. What is the status of the Philippines in terms of technology? The Philippines ranked 56 out of the 63 countries in 2022. Wrapping up. Life without technology wouldn't be easy for most of us. But just think about those people who learned how to live with it. Without technology, they must be doing something just to make their lives more meaningful and productive. Such examples are the people living non-technical lives in the Philippines. This is an eye-opener to us that even without technology, we can still live the best lives we have always wanted. Filipinos living in the islands of the Philippines are one of those who don't always rely upon technology. They are already content with what they have and just deal with it. Hopefully, these people may try the technology and see how useful it is in their everyday lives. May this serve as a lesson to everyone to be thankful for the opportunities in life because many people still can't experience such. There you have it folks, but before we say goodbye, I am glad to announce that we run a few charity campaigns and our goal is to help those in need. You may check out the link in the descriptions and view our campaigns. And if you find this video interesting, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, let us know if you want to discuss interesting topics in the future. Write in the comments section below so we can have it on our list to cover. Yeah.